Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at menus in JavaFX. And I thought it might be a good idea just to put together a little notepad application to start with, just to get us going. Um, not that that's really all that interesting, but we'll, we'll start to see how to develop um, a really a, you know, proper application with JavaFX. Um, so in the last tutorial, I, I copied the Introducing Style Sheets tutorial from last, last time and um, I pasted it and renamed it to this menus thing. And I also changed this to use Java 8, uh, which isn't really necessary for this tutorial, but you can do it if you want. It's probably a good thing to do. And at the moment, it looks like this. So this is what we developed in the last tutorial where we actually did coding before the Java 8 upgrade tutorial. Um, so I'm gonna go to Scene Builder here I'm still using Scene Builder 1.1. It seems to have crashed, so I'll just quit it and look for Scene Builder. And last time I tried um, Scene Builder 2, it seemed to have a lot missing, but um, hopefully you're using that by now, or if not, then this is good. So let's go to File, Open, and I, I need to open the FXML file in my Menus app here. So let's open that. And I'm going to delete some of what I previously created. Let's delete the button here. Delete. Let's select the label here and delete that. And I'm going to use a text area. Let's scroll down here and look for um, controls and text area. And I'm going to drag that into the middle position in my border pane. And I'm also going to add a menu here. So let's look, let's look for a menu bar because um, if you look at the menus on, on an application, for example, a file, edit, view, menu, file, edit, and view, they're all separate menus. Um, but the thing that contains them as a whole is called a menu bar. And if you go to a particular menu and look at the items on it, these are menu items. Um, so that's the terminology. You've got a menu bar containing menus which contain menu items. So we're going to look for a menu bar here. Here it is. And I'm going to drag that to the top position in my border pane. Um, you, can only ha you can only have one thing in this top position. So if you wanted to add a toolbar or something else as well, you'd have to use a different layout. But um, we'll use a different container, but we'll just stick with border pane for the moment. And notice in my anchor pane here, I've already got under code, I've already got my controller set. So that means that um, stuff within this anchor pane, they're going to run methods in my main controller class here. I'm going to select the, in the hierarchy here, I'm going to select the help menu and just delete it with the backspace key or delete key. I'm going to do the same for the edit menu and for the file menu, I'm going to expand this and let's just rename, um, close here, double click it and rename it to exit. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to create one menu item, which is going to be file menu exit. And with this menu item selected, I'm going to go to properties here. And I can set a, um, an, an accelerator for this menu item. An accelerator is a key combination that you press that invokes the menu item, even when the menu is not visible. So you don't have to open a menu. You can directly invoke the menu item with an accelerator. And that's why it's called an accelerator because it's it kind of accelerates your you know you can do things really quickly using accelerators so let's click this down thing by accelerator under properties here with the menu item exit selected and let's say that we want the control key to be down and for the main key we want x that means that control and x is going to invoke this menu item and i'm just going to click outside that now we can also use a mnemonic, and this is why I upgraded to Java 8, because on my system, with this version of Java FX on this MacBook here, I could not get mnemonics to work. So I'm going to show you what I think you should do to get them to work, but you might find, like me, that they don't work at all for your system, and hopefully this will be fixed in future. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Um, I could be, but I think it's just that 
um, something here is a bit buggy, maybe Scene Builder, maybe Java FX on certain platforms, I don't know. But if you tick mnemonic parsing here, and in your exit text that goes, that labels the menu item, before the X, let's put a underscore character. So this defines the, the mnemonic, and what a mnemonic is, it's a key combination that you can use to invoke a menu item when it's already visible. And uh, it's, it's called mnemonic because usually it's somehow connected to the name of the menu or the menu item. So here we've got exit and then the mnemonic is X. So it's like, um, you know, it's like easy to remember. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's, let's leave that and let's also look at the file menu. I'm going to select the file menu itself here in the hierarchy and we'll tick up mnemonic parsing for that and put an underscore before the F for file. Now in theory, this means that we can press Alt, Alt F and that will open the file menu and then Alt X will then invoke the exit item. And that doesn't seem to work for me, but in theory that's what should happen. And those and the F also and the X should also be underlined. And I, I find that doesn't work either. But um, you can try that if you want it. The accelerator does work though. Um, so let's save this. Very, very important. And let's go back to Eclipse. And also very important, right click the project and go to refresh. And let's expand the project. And let's just go to the FXML and check that it's working. And for some reason, um, double click has started invoking Scene Builder now. So I'm just going to right click this main.fxml and go to open with um, text editor. Then we can see it. And um, yeah, we see that we've, we've got the mnemonic set here for the X on the exit item. So this, this is the right file, it's up to date. Let's go to my controller now. Let's go to the controller. Um, if I go to m the main package and maincontroller.java, which remember was set for the overall anchor pane here, so that we're using this controller for everything in the anchor pane. Let's get rid of show greeting from a previous tutorial. Let's get rid of greeting label here. And let's create a public void do exit. I don't need to pass any parameters to that. And to actually exit the application, I'm going to say platform dot exit. I think autocomplete unfortunately seems to have stopped working since I upgraded to Java 8. I'm going to have to investigate that. Um, and I'm going to just add the import there for platform. So Java FX dot application dot platform. And that will quit the whole program. Now finally, we can go back to um, Scene Builder, select the exit menu item and look at code here. And in on action, I type the name of that method, do exit. Be careful with the capitalization, of course. Then I can click somewhere else just to um, kind of validate that field, just to make it accept the value. And then go to file, save then go back to Eclipse and I can right click menus and go to refresh. Now I should be able to run this, so I'll click run and it might ask you which class you want to run, that's alright. And uh, so here's my application and if I go to file I can quit it. I'm getting some stuff here that doesn't really look good. I don't think it's a problem. Um, if I find out that it is I'll let you know, but I think this is a good way to, as far as I know, this is a perfectly reasonable way to exit your application. Um, at least it does work. Let's click run again and try the uh, accelerator. So I'll, I'll hold down control and press X and that also works. Um, the mnemonics don't seem to work. If I press Alt and F, it's, it's not going to do anything. And um, also you see F is not underlined uh, and exit is not um, X in exit is not underlined. As far as I know, it should work. It should be that if, if you put the underscore character in there and you, you turn on mnemonic parsing, this should work, but it doesn't for me at the moment. Maybe it will for you. But anyway, that's, that's that for this tutorial. You can type stuff there as well, look. This is quite good. 
Um, so we'll, in the next tutorial, we'll probably look, I'm guessing, I'm thinking, at um, maybe file open and close dialogues. If, if there are such things in JavaFX, which you know I'm sure there are. Um, so we'll probably look at that next time. Don't forget to click subscribe if you like the video or click like for that matter. And if you join my mailing list on caveofprogramming.com, I haven't actually sent any mails out in like months, but you'll get some discounts on my premium courses. So until next time, happy coding.